as we can see right now, the boys are coming out to the field, both teams, Lang Warren and Melbourne City. Uh, so as senior professionals, as fully grown adults, are not going to hold back physically. And it's yeah. a real test for, you know, youth league players who are used to coming up against 15, 16, 17-year-olds to actually play against fully grown men, even if they have had the education and schooling and, and technical ability, doesn't necessarily prepare you for this kind of challenge. Of course. I can't see this being any easy feat here for Melbourne City. They, they've got the, obviously, the technical abilities to play Lang Warren off the park. But as you said, when it comes to physical, the physical side of things, that's a big difference. It doesn't matter. You know, we see it all the time, even in leagues like the Championship and over in England in particular, when they're physical and they're big players and they're imposing, that's when things start to, you know, obviously become tough for those more skillful players. So, for draw in this one, I reckon it's going to be a really exciting contest. I can't wait to see what the likes of Najar and Nazarene bring to this one. We get set to kick off. Lang Warren going to the right of your screen here on the Lang Warren Facebook live stream. And also, you'll see on FNR Football Nation Radio via the app, our Facebook Live, and also via our website. So, to kick us off, it will be uh, Kovar. Kovarubius, I believe I'm saying that right. And we're underway here. It's Lang Warren against Melbourne City here at Lawton Park Reserve. Josh, very exciting game here today. Don't really know what to expect. You said obviously match day one, the nerves, the jitters, you know, it's really you can go either way. And an early foul here. So free kick for Lang Warren. And uh, they'll be looking to put on some early pressure with this set piece. Yeah, so Stritton there fouled in the middle of the park. So Lang Warren just starting to fill out their opponents. They play it quickly here. So look to bring play through the midfield. That goes back to coming in defence. Calm as ever. Goes out to Burge. I believe actually are playing a bit of a back three by the looks of it, Josh. I believe. Tally. Nice point to Najar coming in deep to win it. Knocks it out wide there to Parias. Parias looking to get forward. A bit of space here to make something happen. Brings a switch down to Rami Nazarene. Has a load of space. This left-hand side to whip it into the air. It's not a bad ball. Chance for Najar. Oh, it's in for an own goal in the end. And that's come off, I believe, Jamie coming. And it's 1-0 to Melbourne City. That was a bit of an anticlimactic goal. We didn't really get a bit of a... Yeah. Football in the area there from the Nazarene. It's come off, coming. Uh, sorry, yeah, coming. And it's 1 0 to Melbourne City. Yeah, well, it was coming. Uh, <laughs> pardon the pun. But uh, yeah, I, I think you just can't leave Rami Nazarene with that kind of space on the left hand side. It's a great uh, ball into the area and coming just couldn't do too much about it. We could really, we had a bit of it up. Uh, so play a role in, that, faces. in uh, that All Nations Cup tournament that we commentated a couple of months ago. Wayne Wallace plays it in board. Shot on goal there from Sturton. And it's forced out onto a save. He fumbled it, but he got back onto it. And Cool was waiting there. But someone had to try from range. And Sturton, who's looked quite dangerous when he's got on the ball. Slevich. Wallace. Can bring the switch here. Cool's making the run. He's looking to play it in behind. And that's just, I think, been over hit. Cool keeps it in, but that's ball now. He manages to save for a throw in at least. So It looks as if Sturton and uh, Templin have actually swapped positions here. A lot of switching from Scott Miller's wingers, looking to try and put pressure under him, and they've pushed them up high here. Cool does well. Chance out for Sturton. Sturton got the shot away. Brilliant save by Dalinov. And it's not clear. Jeb Harais puts it out for a corner, and a good opportunity there for Lang Warren. Well, that was exactly what Scott Miller has game plan for. That's how he wants to create chances. Pressing Melbourne City into mistakes in the defence and creating chances that way. But what a save from James Delianov. He sends the ball upfield. Wallace. Callum Goulding. To play it through. Cleared away in the end there by Graham. Now it's Cavallo. Just holds it up well. Plays it there to Karlich. Just eventually got the ball forward. And Kolokovsky now gets the end of the play. Just sort of stopped for a second. But Kolokovsky's come up with it. Karlich in an attacking position. Karlich in a shot away. Plays it to Moody Najar. Najar turns his man. Brilliant save by McLaren. But Nazarene was there at the back post. And it's 2-0 to Melbourne City. That goal came out of absolutely nothing. It seemed to be a little bit of hesitation over on that left-hand side, the right for Lang Warren. Kolakowski ended up coming free with the ball. And what about that attacking run from Karlich all the way from left back to contribute to the attack and find the feet of Moody Najar? Uh, Lang Warren happy just to hold on to possession here in the middle of the park through Jaden Madafri. Sturton in a load of space on that right hand side if they can get it to him, but Madafri just forced a bit of a pickle there. Did well to get out of it. Goulding, Wallace. Now it's, Madaf now it's Templin. Nice switching ball there to Sturton. Chance now for Lang Warren. Sturton cuts inside. Get the, get the shot away here. Flicks the ball back in towards Jordan Templin. But the ball, the touch falls straight to Fraser McLaren. And a good chance there for Lang Warren. Sorry, James Dalianov. That was a huge chance for Lang Warren. For these little afters. That's right, option is still, we're still mounting off a little bit. Coming in defence. Long probing ball there to Stoilovic on this right-hand side. Try to cut it on Karlich, and Stoilovic 
turns his man well. He get the ball back across the face. Not a bad ball. It's in. It's a goal to Lang Warren. And Sturton is the man. And it's 2-1 Athos. It's game on again. It was a fantastic finish. A great play from Lang Warren. The timer could have been him more perfect. And Ramey Najarine had... Uh, one of the, got right in his face he there. Did, he did, he did. He gave him a bit of this one. Athos. And the Lions, the the, Ramey Najarine now come over to the fans. The fans are giving him loads of stick. But Lang Warren, over on that Lang Warren are back in this game. And I believe it was Sturden, the uh, the right winger, who sc scored that one. About 10 minutes to go, 2-1. Langwine's got the crowd on their side, Nick. Anything can happen here. It's massive few minutes stuff. to go. A big, hasn't been a bad day at all for Langwine. I just think very unlucky to concede those two goals. Yeah, I think it was just a bit of miscommunication there for that second one, but they have played very well today. Sturton comes up with possession. One last chance now for Lang Warren. Cool. Can he get there? It was a poor clearance in the end. Ibrahimi Cool gets around one. Cool. He goes down. Is it a penalty? Yes. It is! It's a penalty to Lang Warren. It's a penalty. Inside stoppage time. Cool goes outside the area. This is it. This is the chance. He took on his man. He was found inside the area. He'd gotten the shot away. Would have gone out for a goal kick. But it's a chance now for Lang Warren to win this, to at least steal a point for this one. John Cool found inside the area. And I believe that it's going to be, I'm just getting where he's going to take the penalty. It's going to be David Sturton, the man who scored the goal which brought Lang Warren back into this game to send it to a draw. A hush over the stadium here. A bit of a delay. The referee makes sure that no one's inside the box. Referee just calming things down on the edge of the area. Sturton v Delianov here. Can Lang Warren steal a point from this one at the death? Real hush over the same bit eerie at the moment. Sturton steps up. Sturton scores! Lang Warren have tied at the death! It's 2-2! David Sturton has a double. And Lang Warren have come from behind from two goals down with 15 minutes to play to tie it. Is there going to be any more late drama here, Athos? Well, we anticipated late drama. We foreshadowed late drama and it came. A penalty well awarded. The referee had a good look at it. It was a fantastically one penalty by Lang Warren. And now it's 2-2. They've pulled off the impossible coming back from 2-0 down. Is there time for a late goal for either side? Yeah, Cool will be the hero if this uh, result remains. He's got he, cut in that in, he, cut out. he was the one who won the penalty for Lang Warren, and he's been lively since uh, starting this game. Hatsu Georgia with the switch there to Ibrahimi on this side, but that ball is going to be just kept alive by the youngster. It's Kips inside on Madafari. Goes back, he boards Hatsu Georgia. Karlic getting forward. Out wide to Najarine. Can Najarine get the ball and see how can Melbourne City steal it? Metcalf. It's back to Hatsu Georgia. They've got to put a ball into the area here, Melbourne, see if they want to try and get a winner. They've done well Metcalf. to take this thing out of the game. Ibrahimi. Out wide here to Yanucci. Going one-on-one -on -one here with Ovchi. Good boy to the area. McLaren's forced to claw it away. And it's a goal to Melbourne City. Rami Nazarene with seconds to play. Heartbreak for Lang Warren. Nazarene has a second. They have silenced the crowd here at Lawton Reserve. The bench has run over. The reserve goalkeeper's run over. Dylan off stayed in his goal. But can that you is believe it? A bit of a hardy budge behind the play here. But it won't take too much away from the goal. Rami Najarine has a second to go with his, his assist. And he's the hero in this game. Melbourne City, surely the three points to kick you off the season. You have to feel for Lang Warren. 2-0 down they were. They got it back to 2-2 in stoppage time. And Rami Najarine, two goals and an assist. And as you can see here... Madafari and Portali had a bit of a, I can't hear, from Portali towards Jaden Madafari. Lang Warren want to get on with it and maybe try to steal another equaliser, but <laughs> Lucas Portali absolutely giving it to him. Is it possible? How much time have we got, Athos? We are in the 96th, 97th minute here, sure. This 97th minute as we kick off Sturt here. just sends it long, and Dalianov controls that with his chest. He'll take his time here. He will he not. just pick this one up in any rush. Rushes. Right now, this is going to be a heartbreaking way for Scott Miller to start his tenure at Lang Warren, but he'd be very pleased with the efforts and the persistence of Lang Warren today. But for Melbourne City, class prevailed in the end, really, with that just that ending. But it's still a chance here. Goulding. 
Portelli gets it, just sends it long, and that's it! Melbourne City start their season with a victory, and what a finish it was. The final score, Lane Warren 2, Melbourne City Youth 3. Alex Ferguson would say it was a game of two halves, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, it's, it's very important to reflect on the performance overall and recognise that the, uh, it was a game of two halves, essentially, but from a mentality perspective, the first half, I think uh, some anxiety in the team. First round, we've worked very hard for this um, this round one clash and it's been a long time coming um, and the respect that these players have for this football club is so great they were so uh, it was so important to them to put a great performance on show today and you've sort of probably felt that in the first half in terms of the anxiety but I felt at half time talking about the reality and getting that out of our system we really spoke about uh, our game and our style and and today what's important for this football club and this team in there is to recognize that without playing well with the ball um, the heart the desire the commitment that Lang Warren loyal fans want to see uh, was on show uh, and I think that's the starting point for any team to actually step up. So I think at uh, 95 minutes I think we were, we were in with a chance of uh, gaining a point back. Uh, what was what was going through the mind then? Um, okay, we're always fairly composed. Uh, the thought process being You've conceded two sloppy goals. Let's let's just talk about this for a minute. It was an own goal and and then a tap in based upon transition. So through no fault of our own, will they take responsibility for that? I thought the um, the way we defended today as a whole was much better and an improvement from the last time we played. We've really been working on that defensive organisation and structure, but it came down to effort and desire in that second half. And um, I thought they defended well as a team because it was very hot conditions. That team have obviously played numerous games in the uh, the youth league. Um, and I didn't see any lack of effort in that second half that would suggest no one belongs at this football club. So man of the match from your team? I wouldn't say, that's not for me. <laughs> I wouldn't because, listen, sitting in that dressing room now, we're, we're angry, we're disappointed, uh, but we were 2-0 down uh, and we came back through no real quality of football and technique. It was down to the attitude uh, and I think that's such a strong component on any team and, and it's great to know they have that capacity and I'm looking forward to Arriving here on Tuesday and really using, utilising that as a confidence boost for next week. So just on that next week, round two, we're at home again. Uh, any extra plans or any else, else that will be going through the team? No, listen, it's consistency. It's consistency of messaging, um, a real clear understanding of where we're going and what we're doing. And it is a big picture. You've got 16 new players. Um, and to gel that group and get them functioning at a level takes time. But um, we didn't lose too many fans today, in my opinion. The, the heart, the desire was on show. And I think that's the most important thing. And how did the boys pull up after that? There was one early, uh, a late knock, I should say. How's, how's it all happening going now? No, no, it'll be fine. We'll review it tomorrow. They'll be assessed by Alistair and the seed team and uh, we'll get an understanding. But next week, everyone will be available. Obviously, they're stiff and sore now. It's a big outcome for them, a big, big load, but they've worked hard for that. And uh, now they need to reflect, in my opinion, review on their individual performances and, uh, and go to the next level. All right, Scott, thanks for joining us. All the best for round two. Thank you very much.